Back in ETV. Dee Eve on Green On, Telefish Kirky, Tommy then saw a law her inish son Green On, Elizabeth and Forta Gurkig. And today on the show, we have a very, very special guest, back by popular demand, Mr. Paul Casey. Woohoo! Thank you, Joe. How are you, Paul? I'm very good. How are you? Grant, what are you going to play for us, or what are you going to perform for us today? What are you going to recite? I'm going to read a poem from my most recent collection, uh, Virtual Tides, and it's called On Second Thoughts. Take it away. Yeah. On Second Thoughts. It's time for that coffee and packing up of principles and off to the imagined life, the lock of that stolen key. Could it be this torrent of barbarity we hear and see keeps us in constant mistrust of our own humanity? Being spoilt isn't just an expression, is it now? We can only do a lot with a little for so long and traffic is all about flow and avoiding pretzels. Nasturtiums in our mouths are worth gardens for deserted nets won't capture lines, lives, nor will reciting pie to a thousand places, while high as fifth century stylites, our monkey brothers close at hand, Sun Mokong and Hanuman, finding Jupiter in the frosted pavements of the cities. There's so much more to what we've done than luck. Life won't run away at 24 frames per second in its timeline of deadlines laid pipe-like in the depths of an age when late winters meant hot summers, kudzu colonizing at a foot per day. So let's lay a full keel, livid with illusions of progress, the sky split by each of us in turn, for once shy and forever bitten, we wear all of our layers, we seek the unfound bodies that lie beneath the rain, shallow as a field of GM spuds in County Wicklow, and teach our phones to speak Irish so as to consider the price of being 100% Irish legal, the full cost analysis. With the sacred now virtual, we're walking the world home as we protest through spending saved and unsaved time. Why count the days in pairs of socks or human chains and keys of corporate law and vagabondery? A thousand years ago, they'd all be dead men. What fools take on the trays of film characters, splice fantasy to their instinct? You see beauty as a jungle of endless species, a menu unmeant to be written or told, loss as an artist's heart, a black goat, the angel's share calling the shots, and that's the kettle calling the hob more efficient for you. Though it may well be a case of mistaken identity crisis, we've nothing left to give but the desire to give. Let's take our souls down to the dry cleaners for a spin. We've been stuffing the French press with ground down words, doomsday scenarios, temporary considerations. If you discriminate among colors, you're a colorist. And those 64 twits who make the world go round, indulging in the odd few delusions of grandeur, singing war as the appropriate response, and then of its nature. While others find teaspoons more lethal than knives, the lives of rolling stones won't end in their settling. What we imagine in dread can be actualized by all the wrong people, for we've imagined it unrealized. Dark cumulus speeds along the edge of your iris, and in each a flash. Yes, you too harbor lightning. We talk of the dreaded ends of those we love, wish upon them more music, more life while we share this one, dreaming in one tense, living the other, hoping beyond hope the inevitable turns evitable, too much, too soon, too little, too late, too cliched, too unique. There's no true synonym for synonym. Now we're specializing in generalizing in a time loop of jumping through hoops. Can't change how we feel till we feel what we feel. And the thing about avocados is that downloading is our new favorite form of exercise. And how long is a moment? Excuse me a moment. I know it's not time yet. Has your imagination too been faithful? A too cool fool, you say? Perhaps a too cool fool, but a happily too cool fool, in search of that silent L in words where the phone won't play dead for long, where the dead have been calling all day long, where summer thermals make earth clouds of the trees, or white-winged raindrops rise in pairs to the sky, only to fall as caustic grains of sapphire sand. Forget the house in the hills. We should stay right here. Clarity being such a hard-won magnificence, and we so quick to cloud it.
That was absolutely brilliant. I really, really liked it. I have to get that book. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Where can I find it? Well, you can get this in Waterstones. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Other shops around. And will we show it into the camera? Absolutely sure. brilliant. And the artwork was done by Rosie, Rosie Regan. Yeah, Thank very good. It's beautiful. I really like it. Thank you. And that's your third book. So would you like to tell us a little bit about what you've been up to? So, um, you know, have you, uh, or how do we find out more about you? Um, well, there's loads online. Yeah. Um, I, I'm usually very busy with Ovale, helping other people, other poets um, have a, a platform to, to share their work. So I don't really get a lot of time to, to write new poems. This year I've written one new poem only because I was commissioned to um, for RTE, luckily. I, I got asked to respond to a, la to a soundscape. So they followed me up along the Lee in three different places and wow. recorded me reading. Oh, I, have, that. I haven't actually. So that's got, on the way. Oh, great. Okay, it hasn't actually been released yet. No, in the next couple of weeks it'll be on. Oh, brilliant. So, how do we find out more about uh, all mm. of that? Just check out your Facebook page or your website? Yeah, sure. I've yeah. got a, my, my Facebook page. Uh, I don't have a, a website my, myself, but um, I have a page up on, on um, Irish writers and uh, Poetry Ireland, and they usually have all that. Great. So, we'll have all the links anyway below the video. Thank yeah. you very much for taking the time to come back on the balcony. Check him out, absolutely brilliant. Paul Casey, and tune in for another Balcony TV Cork. Slant Amel. Balcony TV.